Hey there, YouTube world. My name is Matt Schwartz, and I'm the Welding Geek. And on this episode of the Welding Geek, I'm going to be showing you how I went about making my knee pads. So if you want to see how I went about making these, stay tuned to the video. All right, friends, let's make some knees. I kind of explained to you what's going on here. So I've already got my templates glued onto my Centro. We're doing a bunch of build Centro knees. And I've got my pieces cut out because I already showed you guys how to cut stuff out in the first video of this series. Um, so I went ahead and got these pre-cut out. They're not dressed or finished or sanded. Uh, so I got one of these, one of these. These templates are available at my Patreon page under the, uh, it's either the Post Empire templates or the Death Watch templates. I think they're, it's the same thing. So I got these cut out, dealing with uh, six millimeter Sintra. Um, now, like I said before, I, I need to strengthen these up because just a, a pure Sintra knee is not very strong and right at your knee joint, um, it's gonna get bumped and clanked and it might end up snapping on you on a troop and we don't want that. So what, how I'm gonna try to remedy this is I went ahead and I bought a fiberglass repair kit. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do is put a couple layers of fiberglass after I get these um, molded or bent in, in shape, I'm gonna line the inside with a couple layers of fiberglass, hoping that's gonna be some strength added to this part, keeping it from cracking and breaking apart. The fiberglass should tie this together. So I'm gonna do that on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and start forming these Getting these kind of, yeah, in shape. I'm gonna use this three inch PVC pipe to kind of bend this around, kind of fit it to my knee. Then I also have this gas cap, or it's for argon um, cap with this nice radius that I'm gonna try to see if I can't get this front lip edge to roll over a little bit. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is get these knees in shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started doing that. Now, in order to shape our Sintra, I'm gonna use a heat gun and some gloves and something to bend around to make it nice and smooth and nice and straight. So that these are the things I'm gonna to use to shape these. You can melt this with a heat gun, so be careful. You kinda of wanna heat this evenly, and then we'll just give it a nice tweak around here this way, let it cool, heat up this section, tweak it down the other way, maybe try to get a slight roll in here and that will be about it and then like I said I might bring this over here try to heat this up and just try to get it to form around that just so there's a nice little roll at the end so it's not looking like a straight thing so um, yeah I'm gonna start doing that I'm smart enough now that I I uh, glued this on the actual plastic side uh, so I should be able just to peel if I can get my fingernail underneath the plastic, yeah. Peel this off so I don't have to deal with paper this time around. So that'll be kind of nice. I just need to make sure, because these are lefts and rights, you see how this is bigger than that, that I bend one one way and the other the other. All right, I got my shape here. It's not super perfect. You can kind of see in the end where it's kind of wrinkled. I'm gonna go ahead and sand that out. But before we do any sanding, well actually, I'll have to sand the inside for this for the, the fiberglass to stick to it. But we're gonna get the fiberglass on here and get that all, all laid in before we do any sanding. That way I can sand the fiberglass alongside of this. Um, you can see I got some dents in here from my gloves. I'm gonna leave those in for damage. Um, 
the reason why they're there is I keep on forgetting. I'm finding that if you just heat the, the inside of the project, it's good enough and the outside won't dent as much. It'll kind of, it'll dent a little bit, but not as bad as if you heat this outside and push on it because then it's just going to dent. So yeah, let's, I'm going to get the next one formed up um, and then we'll, we'll go on to the fiberglass and see how that goes. Actually, before the fiberglass, I'm going to have to put my mounting screws in here like we did on the, the armor plate. So I'm going to get the other knee formed and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, now that I've got both of my knee pads formed here, it's time to, to back it up with some fiberglass. I've got my fiberglass um, laid out here. And I went ahead and traced the pattern on here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these all out in that shape there. So I'll get this done. And then I need to sand. I'm going to use some 60 grit sandpaper, some coarser sandpaper to create a nice rough surface for the fiberglass to bond to. So that's the next step. I already went ahead and put in the little holes for my uh, my mounting bolts that I'm going to use. I'm just going to super glue these in before we start throwing in the, uh, the fiberglass. So I'm just going to use a pair of scissors. You're not going to want to use fabric scissors to do this. So I usually have a pair of scissors I use on paper and everything else and a pair of scissors to use on fabric. So. my studs glued in I've got my knee pad sanded and now I've got my stuff set up here got my fiberglass sitting here in a pile I've got my resin here hardener here and the little mix cup here now I don't think I've got enough work time in order to mix all this together so I'm gonna probably get put half in there with half the hardener get that mixed up and try to get one done and then if I still have enough resin I'm going to try to get the other one done and just go as quickly as possible. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to get my resin and harder mixed. I'm going to wet out my cardboard so I've got a nice wet spot here. And then I'm going to wet out my knee pad. Wetting it out just means I'm going to cover the whole thing in resin. I'm going to take my fiberglass over here in my wet spot, get the fiberglass soaked with resin, and then I'm going to apply it to my knee pad. When we're doing this, you want to tamp. You don't want to brush. You want to tamp it down to get all the air out. And we're going to try to go as clean as possible. I've got uh, gloves here to wear for the resin. Because this stuff gets over everything. I recommend putting on two pairs of gloves. And what that's going to do for you is if you need to go and touch something... Um, you can strip off your nasty glove and still have a glove on your hand and then you just put on another one. It really does help instead of having to... Oh, well, these are crappy gloves. So yeah, try to double up your gloves. That way you can strip one off and still have my hand covered so you're not getting resin all over the place. So hopefully this will make sense once I start doing it. Mix it up. Uh, probably wet out the knee pad first, wet out the cardboard, get a piece of uh, fiberglass over there, get it wet out and tamped on. And I'm going to try to do three layers on each one. Um, and then hopefully after that you can see the amount of flexibility in here. Hopefully it will stiffen this up a little bit and then it's also going to add the strength to keep this together from cracking. So I'm going to do that.
All right, that was a royal pain in the butt. This is not like the stuff I'm used to working with. I'm used to working with West Systems. This was completely different, a lot more tacky and sticky and hard to work with. It stuck to everything. Um, but I got it in there. Got a lot of threads. I'm gonna just have to sand this stuff out. So we'll have to see. Hopefully this will work out for us and it will turn into a nice, neat, strong knee pad. Um, reason why I use this set here is because I found it at Menards. I'm sure they have it at Lowe's or wherever. You can probably order it off of Amazon. Uh, and I'm doing fiberglass because I want this to be, for average Joe that doesn't have tools, to be able to make a strong knee pad without having to use metal because as soon as you jump in to backing this with the metal strip or something like that, you need special tools to cut it. Um, and so I thought fiberglass would be, you just need a pair of scissors, a paintbrush, and time. Uh, this was a battle though, it's not fun. So hopefully this pays off for us. So I'm gonna let this set and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, the fiberglass is all set up. Um, that was a tricky thing um, to do. I, like I said, I'm not used to using this type of resin and fiberglass mix. mix. Um, but I feel like it came out okay. I used some, I used actually these scissors to clip off a lot of the threads around it, you know, just to get up in here and snip off some of this set up fiberglass. So I think it g gave us some rigidity. You could hear that pop. There's a little bit of delamination kind of in here where I probably didn't tamp it down good enough or didn't get it cleaned up. But I don't think that's going to affect this too too bad. So, and plus we do want a little bit of flexibility in there. It's just the fiberglass is there to hold the knee pad together in case we get, we'll probably get, possibly get a crack, especially around here. Um, and even if that cracks through, I'm hoping the fiberglass will keep this all together so it doesn't, it's not a big deal if it does crack. Because we're just trying to maintain the look of the knee pad. You can see I got my screws um, fiberglass in there. So I think that's going to work out pretty well for us. The problem is now, this is an ugly looking knee pad <laughs> full of crap. So I'm, And it's not formed very well. And I already knew this going in. So the next step we're going to do is sand this to make it look pretty. Now I'm not going to do this on camera because I'm going to do it in the garage because it's going to make a complete and utter mess. So I'm going to show you the tools that I'm going to use. Just like on the armor, I'm going to use my block of wood with some of the sticky back DA paper so I can get nice straight lines. Okay, so we'll straighten everything out and get it the shape. And then I've had one of these spongy 3M sanding things to go over the surface and smooth everything out. And you can also just fold one of these in half and do hand sanding. So those are the three kind of sandpaper that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna straighten out the edges first, get everything looking nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna break over the edge, which is when you're coming across, see how there's this straight edge. I'll come across and break it over, make it nice and smooth. And then around this, it's kind of lumpy, so I'll probably end up hitting some of it with this straight thing to kind of get it in the shape and then the soft part to smooth and blend everything in. Um, sanding is something you need to sit down and do, um, but so that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna take me a while to get these sanded out, but the next time we see this, it will be all smoothed out. So I'm gonna get rolling on that. Sanding is done, and this is where we are at. Got everything smoothed out here. Now it's gonna look rough inside here. This is just here to make this stiffer and hold it together. But I'm pretty happy with these. They're not as straight as I'm used to with metal, uh, but I'm, uh, these are gonna make a great set of knee pads. I got them both done here. And it took me about an hour to sand these down, get them smoothed out, and make them look like something halfway decent. Um, now, when I was sanding these and looking at them, I noticed that I did the one thing I told you guys not to do, and I bent these the same. Like, there's a little smaller leg compared to the bigger leg. <laughs> so I've got two uh, left-hand knee pads. But that's okay, we're gonna keep on rolling. What that will change, though, is, is I was gonna put dart pods on the side of each of these. So I'm going to do only one because uh, if I do one on this side, it, it'll rub off. And now I could stick one on here. 
But I think it's, it'll be kind of cool thinking I could only find two right hand side uh, knee pads for my character and so he just took the dark pad off one and stuck it on. Um, so we're going to do one and it'll just be something a little uh, uh, unsymmetrical and cool looking I think. Uh, so for that I'm going to cut out probably three or four layers of Sintra about three inches long. And I'll kind of cut them on the taper and you'll see what I mean. And then I'm going to glue them to the side of this pad. And for my dart launchers, I found some of these at the hardware store. These are actually aluminum, but I like how they're nice and black there. So what I'm going to attempt to do is once I get my little pod done, I'm going to try to burn these in and hopefully they'll stay put. I'm hoping I can even thread them, but that probably won't work out. Uh, so I'll have two little knee dart launchers like so and these are just a, like an NPT fitting it says quarter inch HF I don't know what HF stands for but these are aluminum they had steel ones these are about three bucks a piece steel ones are about half that price but these are pretty light and so I just wanted to keep since these are lightweight knee pads just keep it light so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pieces out here I'm going to use a razor blade and just snap off some pieces that are about an inch wide so I'm going to cut them and snap them, and then we'll cut them, like I said, three inches long. But I want to cut a taper on either side. And then we'll get it glued together using PVC glue and get it sanded and shaped. Get our little dart thingies on there, and then we'll actually glue it to the side of the knee pad. And then it's time for paint. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I decided I'm going to cut my tapers on the bandsaw. I know most of you probably don't have a bandsaw, so you can just cut them in with the razor blade. But since I do, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make a block of PVC like that. It's an inch by inch, or it'll roughly be around there. I'll cut my 45s or whatever I decide. Get it all sanded smooth, and then we'll come and we'll put in our little things. Get those burnt in, and then glue it to the knee pad. So hopefully this was going to work out pretty cool. So, I'll be back when that dries. All right, I got my PVC block all done here. I got some lines on here. That's about where I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna try to straighten these all out, sand it, smooth it over, make it look nice. Then I'll come back in here, and we're gonna try to get these in. Well, you probably can't really tell, but, but like so. Anyway, we're gonna try to make a pod that goes on like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. All right, I got my little pod done. Sanded smooth, cut. You see these little circles is where I'm gonna try to attempt to burn in my little knee dart things. So wish me luck, I don't know how this is gonna go. I may ruin this. <laughs> That worked pretty good. Just gotta let it cool now, and these will actually probably stay in there once it all cools down. So I'm gonna let that cool down completely, and then we'll get it glued onto the knee pad. I really like that. All right, cool down. Use yeah, PVC glue, cool, get guys. this glued on there, okay. let it dry. And then we'll start thinking about paint. Right, 
I am super happy with that. Looking cool so far. So the last thing I'm gonna do here, and I've already kind of shown you guys how to do this in the damage paint weather video, but I'm just gonna put some damage in these, not too much, and then I'm gonna paint them. I'm not going to show the painting process. If you wanna see how I paint this stuff, or kind of the process I go through, you can go check out the paint video. And I'll actually take that on this video too, so you can kind of go that way and check it out. But I'm just gonna do a couple things in here real quick. I'll get these painted, and then I'll be back, and I'll show you the finished couple of dingers in there some dents just something to give it a little something extra a detail or two all right I'm gonna get these painted and then I'll be back and finish up the video all right friends paint is done let's get some up close looks I know you've got these previewed before on some of the, the other video not the video before this uh, but you could really see the damage now the little dart pods which came out awesome the back looks messy but nobody will ever see that got that and got the other one here i hope that video was informative for you guys i hope you'll be able to make some of your own knees i really do think the fiberglass is going to help out here i don't know for sure um because i've never made a knee pad like this so I'll get it out and start testing it here eventually once we get this build done. Um, and then I will know for sure and I will let you know if they fail. <laughs> but anyway, I, I feel like that's going to be a great way to make some knee pads. So I hope you can kind of follow along and make some on your own because this is one of those hard parts on the costume. Um, so hopefully that will make it a little easier for you guys. Ah, uh, So yeah, what do we have coming up next? I really don't know. I'm not sure yet. I got a bunch of stuff I want to do. I've been working on, as you can see here, blaster for this build. That's what I'm, I'm in the middle of right now, try to figure this all out. Um, so this will probably be the next video. You kind of tell where I'm going here. <clears throat> anyway, we're trying to do a budget build blaster for our budget build Mando. Um, but I have uh, plenty left to do on this. I've got the templates uh, to make our vest. That'll probably be coming up here pretty quick. Um, yeah, and then we got the flight suit. We gotta get all the armor mounted. We gotta do some leather parts. We gotta do all sorts of cool stuff. So I hope you're uh, looking forward to all those videos. I also have Book of Boba Fett coming up. Like, as I'm recording this, it's tomorrow. So I am super pumped for that. Another opportunity to possibly do some more uh, Boba Fett builds. So I'm planning on I've got templates drawn up or partially drawn up. I'm kind of waiting for the show to launch so I can actually get good templates drawn and I might start building some of those armor parts. Um, so that might be stuff coming up on my channel. <clears throat> and I've got some other ideas too. So we'll see where this heads. I'm not quite sure. I'm definitely going to keep on the budget build and get the budget build done. Um, but after that, who knows? It just depends on where I go. I do know my buddy Matt uh, at the, uh, the FET Armory is already almost completely done with his set of soft parts uh the flight suit and the vest for the book of boba fett so and he's going to be well i'm he's hooking me up with one of those i'm buying one of those sets from him so i will be sharing that with you guys so we're definitely going down the boba fett road um hopefully here pretty soon it just depends on the timeline of things i'm hoping to kind of launch those videos during the book of boba fett but let's see how everything goes um, but from the pictures that I got from Matt at the Fed Armory, man, those, it's, it's looking really good. So I'm super excited. He always does such quality work. Him and his seamstress. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm excited to get those from him. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great, happy new year. Um, I hope you're, you're, you're doing well. You're healthy. Your family's healthy. I hope you guys take time to get away from your phones and screens and just sit outside somewhere and listen and look at nothing and just, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I know this world's going crazy. Um, don't let it get to you. Let's keep our heads up, keep on marching forward, love people, love each other, and that's how we'll get through this. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you do well. My name's Matt Schwartz, I'm The Welding Geek. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>